there is this survival rule mm-hmm. um, that I have semi recently learned. That's three three three. Are you familiar with that? No. So it says, if you don't eat food for three weeks, you are going to perish. If you don't drink water for three days, you are going to perish. But if you cannot breathe well for three minutes, mm-hmm. right, you are going to perish. And I think about it and I'm like, okay, when it comes to food, we always talk about our nutrition. People know what a vitamin is. We go on diets, right? We do all of those stuff. When it comes to water, we talk about, you know, hydration. I have my glass here. We talk a lot about the things that go in our water, our water supplies. What about our air? Like that's the most important one. It's crazy that we're not talking enough. And I saw you took a deep breath because mm-hmm. it's just like humor. It's like, oh, like what am I yeah. breathing right now? Unfortunately, in a lot of cases, we have a ton of work to do to make the indoor environment of our homes, our houses, apartments, townhouses better. Uh, there are volatile compounds that are coming from off-gassing of the stuff in our home or just our skin shedding and creating dust, or as you're walking on the floor, you know, small particles come out. Uh, Pollutants can come from the outside, from the cars and all of those things. The air inside our home, uh, not just in terms of its cleanness, but in terms of its temperature, the way it hits our skin, can create a very different uh, comfort profile and more than that, it's radiation. So if the walls of your home is cold, are cold, and if the roof, the ceiling, they are like not radiating energy to you, you will feel uncomfortable. 